it feels like I'm in a high school again and I'm sitting at the chemistry or something like that and every every other person in the class understands the topic and they're like do you get it yeah yeah sure I get it and I'm the only one who doesn't understand what the hell is happening you know this is how I feel YouTube, it's me. I'm back. Hope you guys are doing okay. Now, can someone please tell me why every time I go on a gram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, I see constant posts at least once a day about Frank Ocean, about his music, artworks, whatever. Frank is this, Frank is that. Where is new music from Frank? Where is Frank himself? Frank is gone, stuff like that, you know? And again, maybe it's just me, but it feels like people are obsessed over this guy, you know? And to be honest with you, I kind of passed by his music because when he was releasing all the projects that he got famous for, I was on some other stuff. I was like listening to a lot of hip hop and like EDM. Uh, so I was like, you know, there is nothing much happening with the new music releases. So let me check out some of the Frank's older projects and let's see what's the hype about, you know? I'm really I'm genuinely curious why people seem to be talking about him all the time and I'm sure you kind of figured by now that I'm gonna be doing blonde and to be honest I really don't know nothing about Frank's music I think I've heard like two songs ever in my life so this is really new to me although I'm a bit late I'm still genuinely curious so all the talking aside I'll let the music speak for itself without further ado Frank Ocean blonde let's get it oh damn it's 17 songs how long is it it's one hour long this should better be good huh uh, okay the first song is called Nike's it has 240 million plays no wonder he's gone huh? <laughs> he's clocking in The numbers on these, some of these songs are crazy. You have 478 million, 523 million. Ooh. Yeah, I like that old school kind of 2015 vibe when they used to pitch the vocals and all that. I do that a lot too in my production. For me, it's still the best kind of era of like experimental vocals and stuff like that. Is this his voice? Like, it's just pitched voice, but it's his? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh damn, this shit is 5 minutes 14 seconds long. Uh, nothing much is happening really uh, for the record that is 5 minutes and 14 seconds long. I guess the Frank is one of those kind of vibey uh, artists, if you will. You see what I'm talking about? It's kind of just about energy and about the flow. It's not like supposed to be complicated or anything like that. Okay, it seems like it starts to involve a little bit. You get here and there some interesting kind of fills. A bit more going on with the drums, that's cool. The pads, the strings. Oh. Let you guys prophesy. We gonna see the future first. Who is Frank? <laughs> the first voice or this is Frank? Tell me. Living so the last night. Feels like a past life. Speaking of the don't know what got into people. Devil be possessor. Homies, demons try to body jump. Why you think I'm in this bitch when a fucking yamaka? Acid on me like the. I made me younger, but I look after you. We're not in love, but I make love to you. Mm. Yeah, I just realized that you could actually sample this part. I think if you would reverse it, you could get a really nice harmony out of it and you could really make a hard beat out of this one. Uh, yeah, just an idea that popped up in my head as I was listening, you know? When you're not here, i save some for you. Yeah, for sure, you could sample that easily. I'm not him, but I mean something to you. I like the melodies though, it's nothing too complicated, but like the the melodies, the vocal melodies are really nice. 
uh, well, nothing too crazy for the first one. It's obviously too early to judge, but I guess it's like a mellow introduction song. Although to me, it maybe was a bit too long, 5 minutes 14, but I guess it's all about the energy, you know. But yeah, nothing too crazy. Let's move on to the second one. It's called Ivy, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get it. This one has almost half a billion plays. Start of nothing, I had no chance to prepare, I couldn't see you coming. The start of nothing, ooh, I could hit you now. It's quite alright to hit me now. We didn't give a fuck back then, I ain't a kid, no. It sounds like a song I know. Did it, did it, did it. I can't remember, but it sounds like any other indie song, to be honest. I can't really explain how it makes me feel, but I'm not really feeling this one so much. But okay, let's keep it rocking, though. This melody is literally from another song I can't remember but did it did it did it did it like it's Uh, damn, how is there two more minutes of this one? Now I kind of know how it makes me feel. I can't wait for the song to be over, I swear to God. I don't really, like, I understand the stuff of the taste, you know, the, like, er everything is kind of personal preference, but it's just, it feels so stretched out to me, you know. In the house of your hotel, I'm around the show. You know, I don't want to switch to the next song because maybe there's going to be like a change up and I will miss something. But at the same time, I really want to switch on the next song. With all due respect, I do not know how is this song at half a billion plays. Really, I just don't understand. We both know I must say though that it feels like undeniably kind of interesting what he does. For sure it's like creative, you know, but it doesn't like bring out any emotion in me. You see what I mean? I kind of feel like music's supposed to serve the purpose where it kind of brings out a certain emotion. You know, you're getting sad or you're happy or you dance or this and that. This is the whole purpose of music, you know, to make you feel a certain way. And you can do whatever, but it, if it doesn't make me feel a certain way, I kind of can't relate really to it. And I'm sure that many people would probably disagree with me because I see it's half a million plays, you know. But yeah, I just don't really feel any specific way listening to this song so far. Yeah. I like the feedback sound at the back. You can hear it in the headphones. I love these type of details in the music that they leave, leave kind of the, the production is left like uncut and raw, you know, with all the noises like cables on the floor and like guitar feedbacks and stuff like that. It's cool. Nothing to add, really. If you like it, you like it, I guess. If you don't, you just don't. It's one of those songs, you know, but I didn't really feel it that much, to be honest. So let's move on to the number three. It's called Pink and White. This one over half a billion plays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way every day that's a vibe. I like this one. If the ground is black and yellow, it's the same way you show me. Not my head, don't close my eyes halfway. Am I tripping or he sounds a bit like Daniel Caesar? You know the guy? It's like it's kinda the same, almost like a tonal vibe going on and all that. I, I kinda like it, but it sounds like Daniel Caesar to me a bit. It's the same way you show me. Yeah, 
much side All the kids trying off the roof Say what up to Penny Say what up to life No more time to Yeah. Again, it's kind of cool, but nothing too crazy, you know, in terms of production, nothing too crazy. Vocally, nothing too crazy. Composition itself didn't feel like out of this world or something like that. I did like the vocal harmonies and like the voicings towards the end. That was nice in the headphones. You could hear the layers of the vocals and stuff. Overall, nothing too crazy, really. Again, damn, 523 million plays. Am I missing something? I don't know. Let's move to the next one. Be Yourself, number four. Many college students have gone to college and gotten hooked on drugs, marijuana. You know what's crazy? I'm thinking about the fact that I'm kind of just analyzing him as a like from a musical standpoint, you know, and I don't really kind of touch on reliability, you know, and I don't want to be the guy who's like, do not understand what is going on and kind of being out of touch that like musically, maybe there is nothing too crazy that is happening, but maybe he's super reliable talking about something that I just do not understand. I just kind of wanted to point that out. If I'm missing the substance in the lyrics or something like that, sorry for that, but I'm just a listener, you know, I'm kind of reviewing what I'm hearing and I'm telling you how I feel pretty Pretty much okay listen stop trying to be somebody else don't try to be someone else be yourself and know that that's good enough sure that's a great don't message absolutely try to be someone else this is mom call me bye <laughs> that's cute that was a message from mom i guess that's sweet uh record number five solo sorry i'm gonna go back we too loud in public, then police turned down a function. Now we outside and the time is perfect. Forgot to tell you, gotta tell you how much I vibe with you. For some reason, this one is so far my favorite. I just love the way he kind of flows on this record, the melody, the vocal melody, you know, and uh, it feels warm and cozy. And uh, I like the organ sound, like organ pad behind for the instrumental. It sounds cool. I like this one. Right now, I prefer yellow, red bone, so mellow, fuck why I'm be cutting you. Think we were better off solo. Mm. Smoking good, rolling solo. <laughs> Is it basically he does everything that mom said not to do? He's like, we are smoking, rolling solo, meaning are we driving around? I'm not sure. I'm kind of just reaching. It's hell on earth and the city's on fire. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. There's a bull and a matador dueling in the sky. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. Yeah, I like that. In hell, there's heaven. That little melody is cute. Yeah. Only now it kind of comes together in my head. So you almost have like this churchish organ that is playing, you know, like the ones that you have at church. And all the vibe is really kind of gospel-y. Is it just me or I kind of feel that way? But I love this record. To be honest, this one is uh, my favorite so far. Really clean, huh? Super smooth. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I just kind of realized that we are like five records in and instrumentally there is nothing much going on if you kind of pay attention to it. It's really kind of acoustic, just a bit of a drums here and there, but for the rest he kind of relies on vocal melodies, you know, and overall the voice. Uh, anyways, record number six is Skyline 2. This is joy, this is summer, keep alive. The numbers are crazy on these records, man. It's like there is no record that is lower than 50 million views. Insane. What am I missing? I'm still thinking about it. Making sweet love, taking time. You could sample all of this album, man. It's so good. Like for sampling, it's perfect. <laughs> 
Yeah, if I would be Drake or somebody, I would sample the shit out of this album. Gliding on the fire, the deer run across, kill the headlights. Pretty fucking underneath moonlight now. Yeah. Too mellow for me, man. I need a little something. I just kind of want a little switch ups here and there. Just a little bit. I'm not saying that it has to be crazy or anything, but yeah, kind of just to keep my track, you know, kind of keep the focus. Pigs. Wanna get soaked? Wanna film a tape on a speedboat? We smell a Californication. Yeah, you know what I just realized that like if they would have a Mac Miller's verse on this song that would be insane Like he would just in my head. He fits so well on this record. That would be dope We're halfway through I'm gonna go to the next record. I'm not gonna say sorry for that. It's just too mellow for me Self-control. Let's get it Okay. Again, another perfect sample for the beat, you know? That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lyrics. Ooh, that guitar is nice. Ooh, I like that. You see, just a slight, like, that's all I'm asking. Just, like, slight something here and there, you know, to kind of keep me interacted a little bit. That's all. That's dope. The guitar was nice. Sounds make you cry. Some nice shit dance with tears in your eyes. Yeah, this one is my second favorite. This one is a nice vibe, you know, although nothing much is going on, but just the voice, the way he kind of flows over that guitar. Yeah. You see all these glitches, it's pretty cool. The only regret so far I have that I haven't heard this album kind of before is that I would sample the shit out of it just for SoundCloud, just for fun, you know. Uh, I know I've been saying this throughout the album, but that's the only thought I have in my head when I hear something like that without the drums and stuff. I was like, yo, that's a crazy sample, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I like this one the most. Uh, it was four minutes long. I didn't really even feel that four minutes kind of went by, you know. This was a beautiful record. Anyways, the number one we have, good guy. Uh, number eight, sorry. We have a good guy. It's a good guy. Healed it up. One minute long. So if I was in, why I should look you up. <laughs> I... 73 million views for this one. This is more views than I will ever have in all my musical career, you know? <laughs> for a one minute song. Damn. No, you don't need me right now. I don't know, man. Let's move on. Solo. 10. Solo that I don't get high no more when I try no more. I just go, hey. Solo my cup is a rojo, my cholo, my friend. Solo that I can admit. When I hear that another kid is shot by the popo, it ain't an event. Thing regardless of winning instead of pretending and bending over backwards. Oh, half of the whole had work done. Saying they want to be a real man, just saying that we being real persons. I hate that it's like this. I feel for you, and I don't know what it's like with a skirt on. So part of me, if I am being insensitive, but darling, I don't know what's the purpose of this switch from crazy piano, weird timing chords, kind of time signature was weird on the piano, and then they switched into this like distorted glitchy sound. Again, I don't understand the purpose of it, but it was 
cool. I like this type of switches, you know. Back again. Move on. Uh, track number what? Eleven. Pretty sweet. It's like all over the place, you know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one I'm not feeling at all. I'm just gonna go to the Facebook story. I'm sorry, guys. I I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, I was just telling that I, I got this this girl and I uh, was together since three years and uh, since three years. I was not even cheating her or what. Close to you, number thirteen. Ooh. I'll be honest, I was devastated. But you could have held my hand through this baby. Mm. I like this one. Yeah, I like this one, though. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one. I like the production, everything. It was a cool record. This one uh probably my favorite <laughs> or top 2 top 3 for sure. So white white Ferrari. I haven't heard this song, I think, but I for sure have heard the name. It was like everybody was talking about this name. So, yeah, I, I don't think I've heard this before, but let me check. But I know the name. Mine on the road, your dilated eyes. Watch the clouds float, white Ferrari. Had a good time. 16. How was I supposed to know? And you know what I tell you. I love me eventually, eventually, yes. I care for you still, and I will forever. Okay, not to say that I like it so much, but I'm not gonna deny it's a bit like hypnotizing. I was kind of listening and I couldn't really stop for some reason. It's not like something that I'm usually attracted to in terms of like composition, you know? But it was a bit messing with my head. I was like drifting a bit and listening. That was pretty cool. That was my part of the it's like I have mixed feelings. I want to switch it up and put the next song, but at the same time, something kind of keeps me within, you know? One too many years, I'll let it play, just out of the respect, but... I'm sure we're tall on another dimension You say we're small in another dimension What is it? Number 15, it's side fried... Something like that, can't pronounce. This one is 5 minutes and 30 seconds long. 34 seconds long. The markings on your surface your speckled face Also, not to sound like an asshole, but like, it's not like every song sounds like the previous song, more or less, no? I'd rather chip my pride than lose my mind out here Yeah, the voice is beautiful on this one, it's nice, but anything else, I don't know, man The guy can sing, clearly Maybe I should move and settle. I'm not brave. I'm living over city and taking in the home. 
a lot of interesting things happening within the headphones. It's like it was mono. If you know the sound in mono, it's like it's very centered. And then it just suddenly kind of opens up and it becomes all stereo. You see what I mean? Like it's all of these kind of tiny details that are happening that are kind of interesting to me because I'm kind of catching them in my ears, you know. But for the rest, yeah, I can't really say much about this one. Sometimes... Living in an idea, an idea from another man's mind. You know how this album makes me feel? It feels like I'm in a high school again and I'm sitting at the chemistry or something like that and every every other person in the class understands the topic and they're like, do you get it? Yeah, yeah, sure, I get it. And I'm the only one who doesn't understand what the hell is happening, you know? This is how I feel. He, on this one, I really like his voice. It's really beautiful. The growls and everything, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of it. Damn. Okay, some distorted vocals again, a lot of acoustics. Next one is uh, number 16, Godspeed. Is it the one that he did with Jacob Collier live? That was nice. That was nice for sure, no doubt. Yeah, it's this one. I even came back to this song a few times with Jacob Collier. I'm, I, I hope I'm not misfading. Yeah. Yeah. I will always love you. Yeah, this one is fire. I've heard this one. How I do. Let go of a prayer for you. Just the vocals Just on this one, one, you know, super strong. The table is prepared for you. Again, the organ. Still, I'll always be there for you. How I do. I wonder if he's been in church, like singing. Maybe this is where the influence comes from. I don't know. Just guessing. I literally don't know anything about him. You look down on where you came from. The voice on this one is hard. Sometimes. The vocals, I mean. But you'll have this place to call on. Damn, the last song is 10 minutes long. I'm not gonna listen to it, man. I'm not gonna listen to it. I'm just gonna skip through it a bit to see what's up, but I ain't doing that. Okay, yeah, I know how it's gonna finish. Let's just check out the last one. It's uh, Futura Free. Yeah. Damn. Four minutes in, and there is some drums. Some interesting things are happening. There is like a, a little like box going on on this uh, left side, and some other conversation on the right side. It's interesting. And the rest is silence. Imagine if the rest is silence. Okay. Well, it's like an outro, I guess. Damn, that's it. Uh, yeah, it's over. It's done. If you're still here, thank you. I'm glad that you stayed throughout the video. Again, not to be like uh, disrespectful or anything. No wonder this album was not on my radar because it's not something that I'm like gravitating towards to. With all due respect, I'm sure there is millions of people who would appreciate this album for some reason. To me, it was pain. I couldn't like really get through it. Not gonna lie. The only thing I could think about is to sample this album. The music is subjective 
perspective, you know, and you guys should make up your own mind. For the rest, thank you so much for watching. My name is Almost Famous. Thank you for coming through. I'm trying to get to my thousand subscribers, so if you want to do me a favor and subscribe, you do that. Uh, for the rest, I'm signing out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.